Hi, it's Sandy Parker, and welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. Today we're going to do a haul. Some lovely things that the people from In Love Arts sent me. I hope you'll stay tuned. The nice people at In Love Arts sent me a bunch of fun things, so I thought I would share them with you, show you how I'm going to use them, and go from there. Before I start, I'll tell you an update on my health situation. If you didn't know, I spent four days in December right before Christmas in the hospital with COVID pneumonia. I'm doing much better. I came home with oxygen and for the most part, my breathing is good. And unless I'm wearing a mask, I don't really need any help with breathing. So I'm doing great and I'm feeling much, much better. I appreciate so much all of the lovely cards and notes and calls and emails I got from all of you. Thank you so much. Rich did a nice job of keeping in touch with everyone. And I just want to tell you how much I appreciate all of your lovely thoughts and prayers. So with that being said, let's go into the things that we got from In Love Arts. The first thing that they sent me was a hello die that has the, the shadow that goes around it, in case you want to do that. And I am I like doing the shadow, but sometimes I struggle sticking it in there. It's not their fault. Clearly, it's mine. But I colored the hello so you can see it better. There it is inside the, well, almost inside the this around and um, it's a uh, cute it's a good size let me tell you that I always like to make sure I give you those measurements it is about two and three quarters inches wide and with the surround about an inch and a half tall the next thing they sent me is called let me I have these in an order it's called the Christmas gift box dies and I die or I cut out all of the dies so you'd be able to see them it looks like this hopefully I didn't put on too light of a background I didn't cut them apart it looks like this the box comes with additional bows if you wanted to have just the regular bow on it sorry I didn't get all of the paper out of there um, if you want just the regular bow, you can do that, or you can add the second bow, which is what I did here, or you can add the stars in there on top of it, like that, if you wanted, and then they give you an extra snowflake and a bigger snowflake. I really like that bigger snowflake. I thought it was really sharp. It is one and almost three quarters inches wide, and it's round, so... It would be that much round. It's the box is about two and a quarter inches top to bottom and about almost two inches wide. The little snowflake is about as you say that five eighths of an inch. And the stars are about one and mm, three quarters uh, by about half an inch tall cute and I think you know if you, if you colored it or put things behind it I think it would be really really fun you'll see that obviously next Christmas I got all these before Christmas but as you know did not do anything before Christmas next up on my list is and this one is one of my absolute favorites and I will be coloring this it's called the cherry blossom background stamp and it looks like that stamped and when I stamp something this large I don't know if you've ever seen me do this but the way I do it is I lay this with the stamp part face up and then I put paper over it and I rub it with my hand and that's how you get a really nice image on a big stamp and this one is five and a quarter inches wide I think it's by almost five and yeah five and a quarter inches it's square five and a quarter by four and a quarter and I will be coloring this and making card out of it so you'll be able to see it at some point then next up is they call this the crosswise diamond grid background pattern and I'm pretty sure it's this I probably would have called that a quadrifoil but that's what they called it and it is uh three and five eighths by five and a half 
it's a cool size because it gives you room on the sides to be able to do something interesting. And I'm, I think I'm making a card out of this while we're on the screen or while we're talking. Next up is the Layered Creative Bubble Pattern Stencil, which looks like this. And to make, I, I used a tool that has not worked well for me until now. There it is. Hold on. i got to grab it out of here. I, if you remember the video I made where I tried to figure out how to make these work well and couldn't, well, here's the secret. Lindsay the Frugal Crafter, as always my guru, taught us how to do this. And all you do is you squirt it with water, a few squirts of water before you ink it, and it worked so much better. Got to be honest. Love it now. Hated it before. Love it now. Um, I'll... I can give you a link to that. It was on Amazon or AliExpress, any of those places. And it comes with a little container that holds it, including the lid that I dropped on the floor. So we'll just talk about that later. Then there's the English letter dies. Let me dig them out. I don't know how I ended up with them out of order so badly. They look like this. Can you see that? They are, oh, I forgot to tell you how big that stencil is. It is about four and three quarters inches square. There are the letters and I made in love arts out of it. I thought it was really a fun look to these letters. Uh, they are about, what's that, half an inch tall, a little bit over half an inch tall, but that's in love arts is the name of the company that sent me these things. So I thought I would do that for them. Then the next thing is clearly I screwed things up. Happy Thanksgiving. I had these by, before Thanksgiving and they look, oops, there's something stuck on that one. It looks like this and it's got the acorn and little berries and a lot of leaves. I could have colored the leaves, but I didn't. The Happy Thanksgiving is attached to this branch. It's all part of this branch, in case you wondered. And Happy Thanksgiving is, let's see, about two, I'd say two and three quarters inches from end to end because it's all connected. And then tall, it is just about an inch tall, but you're going to have to, if you don't, if you don't want that branch, you're going to have to snip that off. But I thought that branch was really fun. And the whole thing is pretty interesting because of the way that there are all these um, little accessory work for Thanksgiving, you know, the acorns and the different leaves. Then you've got the beautiful flower wreath decor. I got to get that out. It's right here. Oops. Looks like this and it is four and a half or almost four and a half inches across. Yeah, about four and a half inches across and it looks, I put that there. It looks like that. I thought it was adorable. And it, you know, for spring, summer, it'll really be pretty. And I told you the size on that. Then the next one is called the Rectangular Lace Flower Backdrop. I'll make sure I put the right information in, but this is what it looks like. And it is five and a quarter, probably by four inches or very close to four. It's really pretty, isn't it? And then there's this one, which is called the Circle Nesting Floral Lace Frame. Looks like this, and it is five inches across. And here it is cut out. I thought it was really pretty too. I know I keep saying it's really pretty, but it is. And then this is the centerpiece that came out of it. If you want to keep that, it makes sense to do that because you can always use, uh, you know, one of those uh, circle punches. And then these are called the Cute Sloth Stamps. And I just thought they were just so, oh, this is the one I really love. Have you ever seen that video where the sloth can't get across the, the road? So these people help it get across the road and they put it in the bushes and it waves at them. I was like, I need a sloth. I don't know why. I just thought that I had to have one. Anyway, um, it comes with four, four big sloth squares and they are each this one let's see he's about two inches tall and the this one is a little bit smaller because this sloth is poking its head out it's about one and 
three quarters inches by one and three quarters, and then this one's probably one and three quarters, yep, one and three quarters inches wide. And then um, there's a little, I guess that's a chicken. Why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know, there's a chicken there. For some reason, I'm not sure what the chicken's doing there, but um, it says, don't hurry, be happy. Don't sleep over this happy new year. I'm too lazy, hola, and then love you like a sloth loves to sleep. So cute, and this one, hi. So I stamped all of those same way. I put the paper down and then rubbed it, and that's how I got them. And you get a really nice image with that. So let me, I thought what I would do is make a little, uh, a cute little card out of some of these while we're just talking about it, since I have so many pretty things here. I thought I would do it out of Recollections Heavyweight Cardstock in, uh, that's called, I think, Cream. Maybe it's called Off-White, but I'm pretty sure it's called Cream. Might be making that up. Cut that in half. I don't normally cut mine in this direction, but I'm going to this time and make it uh, one that folds top, it's a top fold. I don't normally do this. I do normally do it the other way, so it's a wider card, but I felt the need to do it a little different today. So it's going to be four and a quarter inches wide by five and a half inches tall. Then I thought what I would do is using all of the, um, not all of the, some of the stamps and some of the, or not the stamps, excuse me, using the um, dies that we just cut out. This is my favorite bone folder because it, it has a weird shape to it. It's made by Fiskars. I bought it at Joann's. I'm sure you can still find them, but that's where I found it and it was very inexpensive. And I thought what I would do, I want to make this card so that it has a little bit more color than just the cream. So what I want to do is I'm going to take another piece of cardstock and, and put it under my peach color. I glued these two pieces together. I picked a darker orange for underneath and I thought what I would do is put it on the card like this. But I want to make it a little bit dimensional so I'm going to put some fun foam underneath it. Well, this piece is pretty gold, but it's already uh, got the sticky on the back, which is nice. So I'm just going to decide how big this needs to be. And the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna move this piece in a little bit. I'm gonna move it so that this edge, hold on, I wanna get, so you can see this. So this edge is down a little bit. So here's my plan. I'm going to cut my foam so that it will hide underneath my paper. So the first thing you want to do is you want to cut it so the first line matches up. And then, oh, get it off me. This is what I get for doing things in advance. If I'm really behind and don't do anything in advance, then I don't end up with things attached to me like I am right now. But right now I've got half the half the card attached to my arm. Okay, so we're going to take the backing off and that makes it so it's going to be sticky. And then I'm going to lay that, hopefully center it so that other people can't see it. See that? And then I need to add some wet glue to the back. I'll be able to attach it to my card base and when it goes through the mail because it's going to be all one thickness it's not going to get um, waffly. If you've ever sent a card in the mail that you used those little foam squares on underneath you end up with that waffly look sometimes. Ask me how I know. I can't say. And then I'm going to, because it's wet glue, it's going to give me the ability to play with it a little bit and lay it the way I want it on my card base. Jeez, my card base isn't very straight. I could see that. Don't tell anybody. And then I cut this little die cut and I'm going to put it right there. And then 
we're going to use this little hello that I cut out again with my die and I'm going to put it on just regular glue no no dimension behind this because if I did more dimension behind this I would end up probably having to pay more I might still have to pay more to send it because of this little square and my postal people are really on top of that every time I go in they just they squeeze every inch of the things that I do I love that about them they're serious about their jobs then I think what I'm going to do is put a couple little diamonds or something sparkly there because it just needs a little something else I believe I guess these little pearls match I'll put one right there so I had a really good time playing with the products I got from In Love Arts and I hope you enjoyed this video that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe please tell your friends about me on social media because you know I love that and thanks so much for watching bye bye